uh, today I will show you how to log in your IC from a AD user. So to configure this before we have to integrate the uh, AD with IC. So we go to the administration external identity sources and go to the active directory. Already I have configured AD to join with my IC. So this is the forces. This is my AD. Now I, I have to go to my group user, and I have to one thing I can do it. I have deleted it. Okay, now it's okay. So I am deleting it because it's now I will show you how to. And this is my AD will not be uh, deleted because uh, he is configured with my another policy. So what do you do? Oh, you select from directory, click type groups, and after that we will see the AD user group. And within that we will select only IC. This is my AD group user, or I have configured the IC group and save it okay now what we do what to do I go to the administration and admin access and an authentication I have to select it my ID and save it uh, after that we will go to the administrators and admin group and create another group for IC. I give a name IC admin and select external and select my IC group and save it. Operator will give the authorization policy and RBC policy, RBC policy. Here we will create another policy and select it and giving a name. I see admin. Whatever you can give the name is here. Now we will go to the and select customers admin and select the group IC admin and one other thing I have to choose it here super admin menu and super admin data and save it After that I log out from IC and try to log in with my AD user. And we are successfully logging to my IC.